We are shooting summer steelhead flies, and this is in our series of the mini flat braid. Uh, and you will remember we lay down a base of silver. You know what? You could use gold. The point of laying down this base is to increase the vibrance of the mini flat braid that goes over it. And I'm going to keep that out of the way. And I am just about to my limit of extolling the virtues of mini flat braid. I don't even want to say the word again, but it's good stuff. So, summer steelhead flies, warm water, slimmer pattern, than, uh, slimmer profile than the chenille series, warmer water, clearer water, uh, break the thread, tie it on the thread again, try not to break it this time, let's throw on some small oval tinsel, would you have to use the tinsel? Not really. But it's nice. And we'll spin on a little bit of black trimobile dubbin, nice and fuzzy. It's about that fast. I want that back portion to be nice and long. And again, we tie these flies surprisingly close to the eye of the hook. And I may not have done it quite close enough there. Yeah, it's going to work out just fine. See how nice and fuzzy that body is? Now, what am I thinking? Oh, yeah, hackle. Black schlep and black strung saddle hackle. Black saddle patch. Tied in by the tip. Gently folded. So that those fibers will point to the rear of the hook. And carefully wound on about four turns. If you've got really clear water and the fish are more receptive to even smaller flies, you can put on two turns. Now we're going to go with a red metallic crystal flash on this fly. How many strands? Four. This is a four strand wing. The summer steelhead flies I tie are a little bit different than the tra traditional ties. Although, they, you know, these summer steelhead flies, they go in phases. Uh, they've been very popular Big and chunky, then really slim. Go back big and chunky. This is kind of middle of the road. There you go. We're going to do another one in a few minutes here.